Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so this weekend I was going online to look for some hiking gear and I ended up buying this. And it's not hiking gear. It's sort of uh, one of those impulse buy kind of things. And we're going to unbox this together. Let's take a look. Black Series Kylo Ren Voice Changer Mask. So there we go. Black Series Mask. We are going to open this together and have a look. So, you see the box is pretty cool. As expected, it's like a toy mask for kids, but um, I've seen them online before. And they look pretty good, so I, I consider getting one. But when I looked for them, they were a little expensive. A little bit more than I really wanted to pay. So I kind of ignored it. Hadn't looked for a while. And I checked again, and I couldn't find them anywhere except for eBay. And the price was like way higher than the first time I looked. So then I was like, okay, it's out of the question. Well, went online to look for my, my hiking gear. I was going to get a pair of gaiters so I don't get snow in my boots. And I was like, yeah, I wonder if there's Kylo Ren helmets, if there's any on eBay that might be a good price, maybe an open one or something. And Toys R Us had them for like $70, $72 or something. So I jumped on it and grabbed one. Now, meanwhile, on eBay, the things are like 140 bucks up to $200 plus shipping. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get this right now while I have the opportunity. So let's... Let's pop, ooh, pop some tape here. Look at that. Look at this. I just gave myself an, an insane paper cut on the box. That's awesome. Somebody was saying that the other day. This is, I'm actually unboxing this like a normal person. I'm sorry this isn't one of my psycho unboxing videos. Uh, but somebody just commented the other day, you're going to unbox those and you're going to cut your finger. And there we go. I'm not even doing anything crazy. All right, so ugh, get the tape off this thing. Damn, I just cut myself again. So if you're doing this, you should have some kind of knife. I probably have an exact around here somewhere. But I, I can't go that far with it. So, all right. Here we go. There's a bunch of crap in here. Uh, some kind of headband. Wear that. Looks like some kind of shocker hat. There we go. Looks good. Put this here. Here we have, obviously, the back half of the head. Some kind of instructions we'll look at in a minute. Cardboard, we don't need that. More cardboard. Plastic. More cardboard. And voila, the front of the helmet. Don't need that. Now, this actually looks pretty nice in person. Now, my intent when I got this when I first saw them I figured you know it's 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 pretty cool I could set it up and then weather it and paint it now the chances of me ever actually wearing this to do anything besides make a this goofy video are really really slim um, I'm guessing this goes together like this let's take a look I should probably look at those instructions over here even though it's probably really really straightforward so here we go. So I guess you're supposed to put some batteries in here. Now, like I was saying, I don't really care about the whole voice changer feature and all that. I just want a helmet to have on display. I would like to eventually make like a, a full size Kylo Ren mannequin, you know, like a statue. But um, I think this would probably be sufficient. I thought, I looked at the Anovos, um, the Anovos helmets that are on pre order right now, and they're like, it's almost 700 bucks, so figured, man, nah, I'm gonna pass on that. So I'm gonna take this. I think what I will eventually do is to gut all of the electronics crap. Like you can see, it's got this big, thick rim in here, which really just sits, my head sits right up against it. And then it's got this nose bridge and all this stuff. I'll probably take all the junk out of the helmet and uh, attach the front and back. Let me get this set up here. Probably attach the front and back and um, close up all the seams with Bondo and repaint the whole helmet. 
And you can see that the chrome stuff is like kind of like a separate piece of plastic, so it's it's chromey on the inside as well. Um, so, blood getting all over my table. Let's try to put this together and see what we get here. Awesome. Surprisingly, there's not good light where I'm sitting. I can't see where the tabs are on the inside. Eh. Come on. Everything here makes sense, but I'm somehow not doing it all that great. How embarrassing. Come on, go together. It's fighting me. All the tabs are lining up as they're supposed to. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. There we go. Now it's starting to work. Come on. Anybody else get one of these helmets and have this issue? Jeez. So there's um these little catches on the inside, and you have to kind of push part of the helmet out to make them uh, get around the edge enough so that they catch. going on here. Not quite tightly fitted yet. Why is it not going together? So I can see what it's supposed to do and it's just fighting me a little tiny bit. So anyway, there it is. We'll say that's it for now. So there's the helmet. Uh, like I said, it looks pretty nice. So being that Kylo Ren, almost every shot in the movie, has uh, a big dumb cloak on, I think if I make a statue and it's got a cloak on the front, this is pretty pretty good. It's got all the dents in the right places. The detail might be like a, a hair soft, but not, not really bad. And I think if, if it's painted nice, uh, it would be almost, almost hard to tell. Let me put this thing on. Well, well. Anyway. It actually fits pretty good without the uh, without the stupid head strap, so we'll get rid of that. I'd probably glue it up, put some foam padding in here, and then uh, eventually repaint it. I kind of like that the the metal stuff is done real nice. They definitely had it vac metalized or something. Uh, it's a, a nice finish on here, which is pretty cool. So anyway, first look, Kylo Ren helmet. I'm not going to do the dumb voice changer thing. I don't really care about it. A bunch of people did reviews on them where they show it, and it sounds like total ass. So I'm not, I'm not concerned. I will probably take all of that junk out, like I said, and then um, just have the helmet on display. Looks nice. Anyway, first look, side to side. I, I gotta close that gap up, but we'll see it in the backgrounds and so forth. Pretty cool. Uh, like I said, Toys R Us has them right now online for uh, 70 something dollars. Cheaper than I found them on eBay by quite a bit. So if you want one, check there. Um, be back real soon. I got another video to make that I'm uh, just about ready to do. And then I backed out last minute so I could show this dumb thing. So I'm going to get working on that. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye, kids.